Hello everybody, I'm the Tamer from the Tamer Game Channel and welcome back to a new video where today we are playing on In the Name of the Tsar, the mod where what if Russia won World War 1? And today we are going to be playing as Russia and we are going to be taking them down a path which is going to be hopefully fun. We're going to go communist so, you know, communism is always fun. Better than democratic runs anyways. So we have a decent sized focus tree, we have our industry part over here. Uh, we have, yeah, we need to have the provisional government in charge. So this is kind of our political tree. Then we have our kind of expansion part of the tree. And then we have the army, navy and air force. So basically what's going to happen is Tsar Nicholas will pass. We'll elect a new Duma. And we're going to do down with the Tsar. And then, oh, the Senate becomes the leader of the Liberal Party. And then we'll do the red flag. And once we do that, it'll open up. Once we're either Spartacus or Socialist, it'll open up this part of the tree for us here. And what we'll do is we'll establish the USSR. Or do we make the Russian SSR? Hmm. If we do that, it removes diverse nations. So I think we maybe want to do that. And we divide us distance ourselves from our Russian... Our roots as Russians, therefore, our best option is that with the Russian Soviet Socialist Republic or Russian SSR for short. Okay, cool. We'll see what happens. Oh, there is a revolt happening in Constantinople, which is currently controlled by us. It's Sargrad. Uh, we are going to retreat, however, uh, mainly because we cannot risk going to war with the major powers of the world. So we're going to order a retreat. Oh, there goes Tsar Nicholas II. He has died. And his son Alexei died at age 18 due to hemophilia complications, so his brother Mikhail is expected to be inaugurated as Tsar of all Russians next week. Instability in Russia. Under fragile provisional government, Russia fails to fulfill demands of the workers. We're going to accept the demands. Iron Guard in Romania? I don't think so. Great, so that's resulted in Romania getting their independence from us. Okay, a couple of world events. The left ascendants in France, so they are also going communist. And Bavaria proclaims German hegemony. So we've already got the Southern Commune and the North German Confederation. So there's going to be the big war between the two very, very soon. Wow, as soon as I said that, they're at war with each other. Anyways, we are selecting a new Duma. SR's under Kerensky. Socialism. Yes, please. So in breaking news in the world, the end of House Romanov, after the death of the previous Tsar Nicholas II, his brother Mikhail took power. As a completely inexperienced and incompetent leader, he was unable to enforce his rule and he was forced to abdicate by the generals of Russia. Ah, uh, the Russian Revolution. A coup d'etat has taken place within Russia. Communists in Russia alongside peasants and descendants of the Russian army have taken control of the State Duma and many cities throughout the former empire. The Russian Republic's here. Nikolai Bukharin. Hello to you too. Well, that's happened. I dismantled my faction and joined the Comintern of the, uh, the Southern Commune. And guess what? Sorry, Germany, but guess who's coming in? I'm going to steamroll you. Oh no. Oh no! Unlucky Germany. Just got a nice wee encirclement of your divisions there. Oh, what a win. What a win that has turned into. I think this may actually be the first time I've seen the Southern Commune actually win. Oh, and yeah, by the way, I'm now the faction leader. So if I... Doo -doo, I'm the Comintern leader. Alfonso has returned to the Spanish state. I'm sure maybe they'll become a kingdom, potentially. Oh, um, the German Social Republic's here. And the French have just became a commune as well. I didn't even know he was alive, but we've just brought Lenin back to take the wheel. Oh god, a civil war time in America. Errol Browder and Henry Stimson, American Commune. How strong are you? You're not looking too bad. How many volunteers can I send? I can send four volunteers. I can send my quality tank divisions over once I've had a look and updated them slightly. Okay, so we're starting to modernize the Russian army. We could fire the old guards. Which would give us minus nine organization division attack in the early stage of modernization, or we can keep the old guards. Fire them. It's time for a new era in Russia. Right, we have actually helped out the Americans a decent bit in securing some of New England. The Canadians came in and secured, actually, New England, the actual state itself. Um, we're going to go ahead and declare war on Finland, so we are going to be pulling out for the time being, but we'll definitely get back there as soon as. They only have three divisions max, so this is going to be easy peasy. There we go. That that did not take us long at all. But now, that means we can go in here. I'll just stop doing you. 
and we can proclaim the Russian SSR. Oh no, it releases everybody as a puppet. Nope, establish the USSR. We are back over in America, let's go help secure these. Oh, it looks like they're actually... Oh, we're done. Right, let's try and get some encirclements going. Try and take Washington, actually. Hell yeah, this is what we're here for, the tiny little encirclements. And we are now the glorious, glorious Soviet Union. It's just a shame we don't change to the... Oh, we then create a faction. I kind of don't want to do that. I'm already in a faction. Ah, uh, yes, the army continues to modernize. Oh, that's another encirclement. See, with four tanks, we're actually destroying the Americans here. What a mess this has turned into. Oh, final stages of modernization. Fantastic. Um, Yeah, the United States has three to 19 divisions left. They are just completely getting encircled at this point. Oh, yep, it's over. The American Commune. The Third Balkan League. Well, you can die. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so far away. Uh, what we'll do is we'll cancel the justification of Mongolia that I was starting. And we'll go after you instead. You need to die. Okay, that's interesting. The UK actually waking up from its slumber and just going after the Middle East. It is time for you to die, Poland, and return to my rightful hands. What is that flag? And Germany's going after Denmark. Ah, perfect. The final stage of modernization has been completed and we get a nice wee tiny little bonus to reinforce rate and division organization, which I'll happily take. Oh, the Germans are going after Austria. And, oh, hello, Engelbert. How are you doing? Changing the course. Deal with Otto. That's definitely you, isn't it? But anyways, this is a kind of more forceful Anschluss. And it doesn't look like the Germans are doing that great. Sorry, Iran. We have to counter the UK pushing further into the Middle East by taking out you. Which might be easier said than done. Iran's offering us peace and Tehran and Gillen, which I think... Gillen and Tehran, they're offering us it. No, no. We may have lost 44,000, but we are uh, completely got you on the ropes. We're encircling so many divisions. There we go. I can now happily take those two pieces of land if I really wanted to, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to puppet Iran in its entirety. Sorry, Afghanistan. It's the way it's got to be, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm going to call Persia in. That would, that would help. Oh, Germany, 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 Germany. Why have you done that? The tanks do the job once again. Happy days. Well, I knew the war was coming. The UK's declared war on Turkey. I'm hoping that uh, Ataturk, who's still alive in this timeline, um, hopefully I'll be able to do some decent damage against them. He, he does have a very nice border to defend, and as long as he defends his coastline from naval invasions, he should be pretty good. Romania, you must return to us, and we're going to go right through here. Oh, or not, we're going to wait and let them attack us. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Um, this is awkward. Um, very awkward indeed. UK, do you want to do something cursed and join us? Ah, you're already in the Allies. Well, at least that puts the UK at war with all of them as well. I guess that's pretty beneficial. Very good start against the Romanians. I got the encirclement I wanted. A very nice batch of divisions dying. They are in position. Happy days, good. We won't push Turkey just yet. We'll wait until we can uh, solidify this front. Nice encirclement of some Turkish divisions over here in the... The east of Romania. We are absolutely destroying them. It's going so well now. Initially it was a little bit of a, a push and pull that was going on, but I think now we have kind of broken them to the point where they are running out of equipment or manpower. Oh wow, the UK is coming in clutch in this war. They've just naval invaded southern Italy. Oh geez, the UK hit them with another naval invasion. Yep, gr great idea Germany. Let's invade Czechoslovakia. The Czechoslovak Republic rather when we are still at war with other nations that you haven't defeated yet. Well done. Let's get through Hungary. Oh, the, the death of Italians finishes the war off. It is time to claim back our puppets. Call to arms. Plus, we actually do have cores on some of this territory now, or claims rather, so it is going to be integrated into the lovely empire. Well, the French have mobilized to retake North Africa and their colonial holdings. Probably going to declare war on... Oh no! Apparently the Spanish Empire is justifying on you. Um, Yeah, the, the Ottoman Empire has somehow come back even though they're my puppet, so I now have a puppet Ottoman Empire. This is, has to be one of the very few playthroughs I've done in this game where I've had light tanks, medium tanks and heavy tanks all in production and all out at the same time. Um, yes, you can have some Russian advisors. Why not? We will spread glo- 
Join the Eastern Co- Well, that's, that's going to be funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, come and join us, China. Come and join me. It was a more costly war than I was hoping it was going to be, but let's go ahead and take all of this lovely land. Wow, the Spanish Empire isn't isn't half on a um, kind of warpath right now. Oh, this is actually the most cursed thing to happen in this game so far. But the Republic of China seeks to join the Proletarian League. Welcome. Right, we are ready to go to war with Bulgaria. Um, the Germans, however, have just declared war on the French. Bulgaria's dead already. That was one of the quickest wars I think we've ever had. Time for King Zog to go bye-bye. Serbia. Montenegro. Go tanks. Yep, there we go. Sorted. It is time for us to help the Germans, kind of, by going through the Netherlands. Because we can. And I'm hoping that the Germans are going to willingly join this. They are. Perfect. You don't have to come and help me. I've got this myself. L literally, my tanks are going to steamroll them. There, there's, there's not. Look at the tanks. They're away. That, they're, they're, they're going in. Oh, they, they actually joined the French. Onwards, men. Through, through we go. Come, come on, call, call you in. No, don't all go that way. I need you to start pushing in the France. Tanks, go, 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 go. We are trying to destroy the French, and you're damn right we will. Oh, my days were running rampant. Go, 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 go. Well, it's happened again. Whenever you fight France, you just manage to encircle the divisions in the Maginot, don't you? It just it just happens. They're that useless. They're getting absolutely slaughtered in here. And I love it. We, we've actually rocked in and killed more than the Germans. We've got double the men they've killed. Oh, and there goes the French commune. Happy days. Spanish war, uh, Civil War literally just finished. But guess what? I'm here. Spain. It's time for you to join the lovely Proletarian League. I'm sorry, what on earth is this front? Why have we why have we went down there? Doesn't matter if we can actually hook up, that would be cool. That doesn't matter, they're dead, and they shouldn't be popping up. Right guys, with Iberia secured, I think we have done enough. I would take on the UK, but the thought of just taking on whatever the hell that is, their navy and their air force, and trying to push through their territory, I'm not going to bother. It has been a very successful playthrough nonetheless though, because Europe is basically ours. There's just the Italian puppet, we have the UK, a couple of independent nations. We could go for Greece as well. They're currently befriending them, so that would only end disaster. Uh, Norway and Sweden's free as well. We could have taken on Japan, got self Sakhalin back, but again, I can't be bothered dealing with their, their army. Uh, and mainly because I think we've done enough for today. So thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I will be back very, very soon for another video. Until then, do take care, sure bye, the now.